Hey everyone, good news, it stopped snowing. Bad news, it didn't stop snowing until it hit six inches. Worst news, I've got to shovel snow now, so I'm gonna procrastinate. Y'all want to talk about some new beauty releases? I feel like I haven't done a video like this in a while, and I just like to uh, get a little cozy and uh, talk about what's new in the beauty industry. So we're gonna do that, and then I'm gonna put on my giant coat, get my industrial strength gloves, and start shoveling snow. So... If you like these kind of videos, feel free to subscribe. I put out new videos every single week. Let's dive on in. Okay, first gotta scoot over. Oh, did I shake? I need to stop shaking the camera. I need more stable everything, but that's the kind of adventures you get on this here channel. I will also be looking at my phone a lot because that's just, that's what's up. First, I wanted to talk about the new Beauty Bay palette. This is the Love Notes palette. It kind of tracks last year. I know they did the New Romantics palette, which I really liked. I thought it was beautiful. Didn't purchase it though because I'm not a large palette kind of gal, and I don't think I'm gonna purchase this either. Although I think if you liked last year's palette, it was just, you know, a little too intense for you. This is probably a good compromise. I objectively like this palette. I won't buy it, but I do like it because I feel like this is a very safe way of getting customers who only wear neutral eyeshadow to branch out a little bit. And I like how it's thoughtfully arranged. There's a good mix of deeper shades and lighter shades. The shimmers look very pretty, and I like how it's not just a soft pink palette. There's some purple, some lilacs. Overall, I think it's a cute release. Not for me, but I do like it. There are so many Valentine's Day collections. So Natasha Denona has the Mini Crush eyeshadow palette. I don't know, I'm looking at this and I know it's not the same, but I can't stop thinking about how similar it is to the Mini Love palette. And I know they're not the same, but that's all I see when I look at this photo. Isn't that funny? I don't know, I'm not really liking this, but it just seems so one note to me. Also, the random pink in there, is that, I don't know that I would have done pink. I would have maybe done gold. Not just because I like sparkly gold eyeshadow, obviously, but I don't feel like the pink goes with the reds. It feels like they're clashing a bit. Not a fan. I also saw, speaking of Natasha Denona, the pastel palette was leaked. I don't think I like this either. I don't mean to be hating on Natasha Denona, but mm, here we are. This could have been the midi gold palette, but instead we're, we're doing this garbage. I'm not a pastel kind of person, for one. So right away, let's be real, this palette is not for me. I don't like pastels, I don't wear pastels. But also, what's the theme here? The orange next to the purple, those, you know those colors are just gonna blend into a muddy brown. There are all these shades of blue, None of them seem to coordinate together. It just seems so random. Like, how could you create a look with this? Is this like the tamer version of the Circo Loco palette? H how are you gonna make a look with this? Maybe you all can enlighten me in the comments, but I would open this palette to use it, pause, and then shut the lid and put it away. Okay, my brain is breaking. Let's talk about something else. Not for me. Physician's Formula is releasing a highlighter. This, I have a beef with Physician's Formula. We don't have nearly enough time. What is the purpose of this? Because it's just the same shade of beige that all their other products are. If you had told me that this was already in their line, I would have believed you because nothing about it looks different. And I guess they know their market. They, are there even any swatches of this? I can't tell. It just looks like another beige overspray product, which kind of is their MO. There are physician formula products that I love, and they frequently either get buried in their other beige nonsense or they get discontinued. I don't know, just expand the butter highlighter line. This is a very random and ultimately forgettable release on brand. Whoa, okay, Makeup Forever is bringing back the HD foundation? That's exciting. Okay, major throwback. Who has been on YouTube forever and remember when this was sold out all the time because, who was it, Cassandra Banks did a video covering up her acne and she used this as the foundation? I was like 13 and I had 
horrible acne. And of course this was like $40, which to a 13 year old might as well be millions. So all I wanted was that foundation and like all the other products that she used so I could have like my perfect full coverage look. Spoiler alert, the Wet n Wild coverall came out later that year and did the trick just fine. Remember this so fondly and a lot of people had very nice things to say about it. I was so surprised when it got discontinued, but wow, nostalgia, they're bringing it back. I'll check the ingredients, but shoot, I may even buy it. <laughs> Desi Skin is releasing a stone travertine tray? I didn't pronounce that right. Are people asking for this? That's such a random release. I mean, it's very aesthetic, which is kind of Desi's whole brand. I want to know if it just says Desi or if you can add your name to it. Because if you can customize it with your own name, I'll have a lot less to say, but if it just says Desi, I'm like, mm, nah. Oh, it's so little. And it's $44? Girl, you can get that at Marshall's. Just just go to Home Goods. Go to your nearest Home Goods. You'll find like 10 similar options that will also fit your aesthetic. I don't know about this. I would have released another product before releasing a tray, but the comments seem very supportive, so what do I know? So Kylie released a Valentine's Day collection, and when I saw this, I thought it was ColourPop. Although they were at one point both manufactured by Seed Beauty, so maybe I shouldn't talk. But this looks like kids' makeup. In fairness, her audience is mostly children, and there's no- again, it's my same issue with the Natasha Denona Pastel palette. How are you supposed to create a look with this? None of the colors go together. This isn't for me. I don't know who it could be for because I'm struggling to put together a look with the shades here. It just seems so random. Like they just put everything in a machine and that shot out an algorithm of colors and they were like, mm, that'll do. Let's put them in heart-shaped pans so people know it's for Valentine's Day. Not a fan. Oh, this, this caught my attention. The M Cosmetics Masterpiece Collection. Leave it to Michelle Fawn to just draw me in. Like, let's be real. This is a very simple, neutral, plain collection, and I love it. I have these shades a thousand times over, but that is not gonna stop me. You know, I bet if this were any other brand, I'd criticize them, but I do. I guess Michelle has kind of been like, you're not getting color from this brand. You will get a soft suggestion of a color. There's not gonna be any neon pink. We're doing cool tones now and you're gonna like it. And I'm like, damn, I do. I'm still on the Faded Clementine collection. I basically want everything from that line. So as much as I like this, I'm still hung up on a previous collection from like two years ago. Won't purchase anything from this, but damn, does it fit in the line seamlessly. And now I'm thinking about the Faded Clementine collection and how badly I just want to drop like a hundred something dollars on it. I won't. Yet. Oh, and I guess Urban Decay is ready to break our hearts again. They were like, look guys, color, but this was the Wild Greens collection. And if I know Urban Decay, it's going to look really pretty on one Instagram photo. And then you see it in person and you're like, oh, wow. It's so sad. I'm still burned over the Urban Decay Cyber Palette. So of course, anytime they might try to redeem themselves and be like, look, color, quality shadows. I'm like, mm, fool me once. You know, let's be objective here. Very nice color story. Nice for spring. I think the greens paired with the pinks, the browns, lovely. There's too much dead space in the palette though. And because it's Urban Decay, I just know it's gonna suck. So, can't do it. Oh, and Oscar Meyer has a baloney hydrogel sheet mask for $5. Honestly, why the hell not? <laughs> you know what? 2022 is already off to such a sad start. I can't even be mad about this because it's so stupid. <laughs> it, look, it's making me laugh. I, I can't say anything bad. It's funny. It's dumb. No one's buying it for skincare benefits. They're buying it because it's goofy as hell. You know what? We could use that. I'll allow it. Um, what else can we- Ooh, Hollow Taco has some new shape. Oh, these are pretty. If you saw my brands I want to try in 2022, Hollow Taco was on the list. Honestly, I like everything in this collection. I don't know that I go for the purple. I'm pretty sure I have a similar shade from Color Club in my collection. The deep blue, beautiful. I love those kinds of colors. 
look, I'm wearing nail polish right now, good for me. And then the top coats, I love top coats. One on the far right, that is begging me to purchase it, especially over that blue. It's like a galaxy kind of polish. I could mix them together. I won't, I could though. It just looks like a galaxy to me. And that's the exact kind of thing my dumb monkey brain just loves. How much are these? Full collection $61. Is that with free shipping? <laughs> I'll think about it. I, I'll, I'll think about it. Oh, and I guess Makeup Revolution released a brightening collection that feels several years too late. Can I just say something about Makeup Revolution and then I'll shut up. I should probably end the video here. Here's what bothers me about the brand. They, according to their Instagram, release so much. New sister brands like every other week it feels like. New products, everything. In my Ulta, their display never changes. All of their products, almost always out of stock. Usually the same stuff, mostly on clearance. When I see all these new releases, I'm like, man, you can't even keep up with the display you have in my little Midwestern Ulta. Stop it. Stock that up, and then let's talk about new products. Is that a thing at your Ulta? Let me know in the comments, I'm so curious. They also, okay, one more thing. They released a Tiana collection not that long ago. Princess and the Frog is my favorite Disney princess movie. So you might've been like, Maggie, did you buy it? No, this is an abomination. Do Tiana justice and then I'll think about it. Also, I can't believe there wasn't a highlighter named Evangeline. That is a disgrace. Somebody put me in charge of Makeup Revolution. I'll make a Disney collab worth having. Anyways, folks, those are some new releases. Glad we had this chat. I'm dreading going outside. How cold is it? Okay, it's 15 degrees Fahrenheit. That's not terrible. <laughs> Love Midwest winters. Great, okay. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Send good vibes my way as I take a shovel that is very much my height and attempt to shovel snow off of just everything. Okay, bye. <laughs>